Now, I put this in as a last slide, or not the last slide, but just as a last minute, because I've actually seen this design twice in the past, I'm saying three months. And I don't know why these are coming across my desk is, hey, what do you think about this, Brian? Well, I don't like it at all, and I'll tell you why. I've got an unclassified hallway. Let's say that this is, a, I don't know, patient area, or maybe this is the back door. Maybe I've got a break room, and I'm going unclassified up to the front, or vice versa. And I've got to step into an ISO 8 hazardous drug prep room. Again, maybe I'm doing high risk pre-sterilization weighing of testosterone to go to the injectables or whatever. I've got my deep pyro oven inside of here. Again, USP 797 says that I can actually have a room for pre-sterilization weighing activity as ISO 8 or better. And that's what I've done. But now I'm pulling unclassified air into a negatively pressured ISO rated space. The FDA will probably consider that an insanitary condition. So I sent this up, up to a couple of my friends. Actually, I emailed USP and asked them about it. And they, they made me notice that everywhere in USP 797, which is also applicable to USP 800, it always mentions that entry into a classified space always happens through an ante room. But this doesn't have an actual ante room. It needs to have an ante room. And the only way to basically put that would be right there, but then you're probably gonna get into fire egress standards or other problem, or maybe retrofit it over here. But here's the takeaway of this slide. You do not pull unclassified air into an isolated environment. That is going to be an insanitary condition. And I'm hoping, and what's interesting about this particular room, which has been in, uh, in process for a while, the, the state board or whoever, whatever compliance has never caught that to say, wait, 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 what are, we, what are you doing again? But this is gonna, this is a no-no moving forward with hazardous drug handling. 